Hello and today we'll be checking the discount coupon listing plugin for the WordPress itself. So basically this plugin allows the customers to wave all of the coupons in one place and the customers can wave two different type of coupons together, uh, namely the offers and the deal coupons. And uh, this plugin is uh, very useful for the customers as this plugin provides multiple coupons of different types in one place and uh, the customers can check the website as well where the coupons are applicable and apart from that uh, the admin can add and edit the coupons of different brands in one place and not only this he can also configure both the type of coupons as per his business need so right now you can see that i'm at the uh, front end and uh, here we have this coupon listing uh, section and if i scroll down you can see the heading and the various coupons uh, that the admin has created and enabled so right now you can see we have multiple ones so uh, i'll be just uh, going through the workflow of this uh, particular uh, plugin that's uh, the uh, discount coupon listing plugin for the wordpress so uh, after that i'll be showing you how uh, the uh, admin would be able to set up these uh, coupons from the admin backend panel but before we start, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. So now, uh, as you can see, I'm on the coupon listing page and here you can see that we have one coupon that's two pizza free and uh, it's starting at the purchase of rupees 399. And here you can see the verified uh, tick mark as well, along with the date, the validity till and the number of views that have uh, been there or uh, the number of uh, views made by the customers apart from that on the right hand side you can see uh, a get deal button is there now if a deal is expired then you can see the uh, coupon expired uh, would be displayed in that place so right now this one is valid and we can basically uh, uh, get the deal as well apart from that you can see that we have the upward and the downward option as well for this particular coupon uh, listing coupon and here we can basically uh, uh, give it a thumbs up or we can downward it as well as required apart from that you'll also be seeing that here we have different social media links wherein the uh, customer or the user can share these uh, uh, coupons as required so for example if i tap here in the pinterest then uh, it would uh, take us to the pinterest site and here we'll have to log into our account and then we can sign in and then save uh, the uh, pin there and the same thing goes uh, for the uh, facebook twitter and the whatsapp as well and apart from that here you can see that we have the option to show the details of this particular coupon so if i tap here in the show details you can see uh, a dummy text that i've just edited so it's the short description for the coupon itself apart from that the customers can check the comments uh, that have been made for this particular coupon and uh, they can see the number of coupons and uh, here you can see that uh, the customers can also reply back to the uh, comments uh, that have already been uh, made for this particular coupon and to add a new reply you just need to uh, enter the comment uh, then choose your name email your website and then tap here on the post comment button to post your comment so uh, for example if i go ahead and i'll enter test and i'll choose my name I'll just uh, set this website as empty for now and I can also choose uh, to save my name and email uh, whenever I next time uh, whenever the next time I'm coming back to make a comment and thereafter I just need to tap here in the post comment button so initially uh, this post uh, uh, posted comment would not be visible here so uh, the admin just needs to go to the comment section and needs to approve this and after the approval we'll be able to see the comment here Apart from that, uh, the customers can also reply. For example, if I tap here on the reply button, I can set it as uh, test three. I'll choose my name, email address, and I'll just tap here on the post comment. So in a while from now, I'll show you the backend where we'll be able to check these comments as well. And then we'll come back to this section to check the uh, comments uh, that have been now approved on this particular coupon. Now. Uh, here you can also see that we have the get deal button so uh, to get the deal what i need to do is uh, as a user or the customer i just need to tap here in that get deal and here you have this particular uh, pop-up uh, where you can see that uh, your offer has been activated and the uh, heading for the uh, particular uh, coupon that we have created 
and here you can see that the deal activated uh, button is visible and uh, you can also uh, mark it as yes or no if it works for you apart from that on this particular uh, pop-up as well you'll be able to share the coupon on the various social me uh, media networks like Twitter uh, pin it share uh, the Facebook one and the whatsapp as well now uh, we can also go to the shop uh, uh, for which this particular coupon has been uh, displayed here so what I need to do is I can tap here in the deal activated button and then I'll be uh, basically uh, redirected to the respective uh, website wherein I'll be able to make use of the particular coupon code so let's go back and I can also tap here on the uh, go shopping uh, one as well and the same would uh, take the customer to the appropriate and the respective uh, website where they will able to uh, basically apply the coupon that they have just uh, uh, copied from this particular section so let's go back to this particular section and uh, let me cross it out and uh, similarly here you can see that we have the uh, offers as well and uh, the deals the first one was the deal this is the offer wherein we are uh, providing some amount uh, off uh, but for this one you can see that the coupon has expired right now so it won't be working and uh, here as well you can see that uh, there were two uses uh, for today so that uh, data is also being uh, provided uh, to the customers directly from here and uh, the rest of the uh, the coupons are the same so now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's see how the uh, coupon listing coupons can be created from the admin backend panel and then uh, we'll also be checking the uh, uh, comments that we were talking about so for that let me go ahead and uh, let me log into the admin backend panel first so i'll be logging into my admin backend panel so after the successful installation of this uh, coupon listing uh, or the discount coupon listing uh, plugin for the WordPress, uh, you'll find the coupon listing assigned menu option here and under that you'll find the coupon listing wherein we have the complete listing of the coupons that the admin has created and the admin can add a new coupon by tapping here on the add new coupon button and that would bring up the respective section for that. Then we have the configurations for the offers and the deals as well and lastly we can also check the feedbacks uh, there. So these feedbacks uh, basically are coming from uh, when we are tapping here and tapping yes or no. So this is the feedback that we're getting from here. Let me cross that out. Let's go back. And under the comment section, we'll be able to see all of the comments that have been made uh, for the respective uh, coupons there. So for example, this was the test three one. I'll just make it as approved. This was the first one. I'll tap on the approve. Now if I go back and let's refresh this particular uh, uh, WordPress uh, page and uh, now you can see that there are four comments for the two pizza free uh, coupon and uh, for example if I tap now on the comments here you can see that uh, Rebecca Devney uh, said test so that was one comment and we had also uh, replied back to a customers uh, uh, what we say as the comment so here was the nice deal and I made a reply Rebecca Devney test three all right so that's how basically it works there and uh, after you have copied this particular uh, coupon code you will be uh, basically redirected to that particular respective website to make the use of the coupon uh, itself now let's go back to the admin mac pen panel so this was uh, the uh, particular comment section so you can also choose uh, the pending ones for your uh, uh, various uh, coupons you can check the approved coupons the total number of approved coupons uh, and uh, the number of trashed uh, ones as well so here you can see that uh, the uh, trash section contains the uh, uh, comments uh, basically that have been uh, added by the users there uh, for the respective uh, coupons itself. Now uh, coming to the coupon listing section, let's go to the coupon listing. So here the admin can find the complete list of coupons that he has already created along with the type and the uh, valid date and uh, the admin can also see the total number of uses that have been made for each of the created coupons there so you can see that eight uses deal type uh, uh, the type is deal product and the validity is up to july 30 2021 and uh, the admin can also edit any of the already created uh, uh, coupons so for that i'll just tap here on the edit link and uh, that brings up the edit coupon uh, section and here you can uh, Add the featured image for the uh, coupon itself as you can see this one 
and uh, you can choose to allow the comment so that the customers can comment on the coupons there apart from that for this particular product also you can see the complete list of com comments that have been made already this one is the test and the test that we had set up there then we have the coupon configuration so here the admin can uh, change the label title to pizza free to pizza free so that's the uh, way it uh, is visible uh, then we have the offer site name all right so we have the office uh, site name uh, as well that's the Woo pizza pizza you can see that that and here also you can see the same and uh, we can enter the site url uh, using the https there uh, where the customer should be redirected for that particular uh, coupon code you can set up the start date expiry date so uh, you can change them up as well you can choose the coupon code and this is visible here the coupon code and the number of uses that can be done for this particular one and the type of this particular uh, coupon whether it's an offer or a deal uh, apart from that you can also uh, edit the customization section where you, you will be able to uh, set up the options like whether it's verified or not show the number of uses show the complete views that have been made for that and you can also set up the uh, coupon code uh, background color and the coupon code text color by selecting the appropriate color from the uh, color palette here and if i go back here we have the verified option that we are talking the complete uh, views uh, for this particular one and uh, the complete uh, uses of the uh, particular coupon for uh, on a daily basis here as well let's go back you can also set up the uh, short coupon description and that would then be visible uh, under the show detail section here for the respective coupon so that's how we can edit a coupon let's go back to the add new coupon section and uh, okay I'll just go to the coupon listing section once again and here uh, I'll be adding a new coupon so for that you just need to tap here and then you will be adding the uh, new coup coupon uh, title and this title would then be visible here uh, at the top of the coupon itself uh, you can set up the uh, uh, images as well for the same uh, you can uh, set up the discussion for allowing the comments to be made by the customers then you can set up the coupon configuration here like the label name offer site name the start date end date coupon code uh, the products SKU number of users that should be allowed uh, the type so the first one that I showed was the uh, deal this one is the offer for example and uh, under the customization we can choose to show these details like verified or not show the number of users or not show waves and the uh, coupon code background color as well as the code text color for the uh, pop-up there and you can also set up the uh, short coupon coupon description as well so after that uh, you can set the featured image from this label here and then you can uh, uh, publish the same and your coupon would then be uh, after creation would be listed here as you can see uh, so that was about the coupon listing and how to add a new coupon now let's go to the uh, to the offer and the deal uh, configuration so let's go to the offer configurations first so under the offer configurations you can uh, see that uh, we can enable the offer configurations by choosing a yes otherwise to disable just choose a no you can show the verification badge uh, uh, for the offers as well so uh, this is the verification back for the offers you can set up the uh, uh, option to show the start date and the uh, expiry date for the same so here you can see that the start date and the expiry valid till dates are visible to the customers according to the offer configuration that we have set up then we can enable the upward and downward uh, options we can enable the comments and we can also enable the social share options there so uh, here we have the total waves uh, the uh, what we say as the uh, upwards and the downwards as you can see and uh, apart from that uh, we can also enable the comments in the social share so here are the comments the customers can uh, post a uh, uh, comment there by entering the details here and tapping on the post comment button thereafter and here we have the social uh, uh, networks wherein uh, the uh, user can uh, share these uh, coupons at by tapping on the appropriate one and uh, then logging into that particular account and uh, uh, sharing the same on the respective ones now uh, after that you just need to tap here in the save changes for the uh, offer configuration now let's go to the deal configuration 
now under the deal configuration we can enable or disable the deal configuration uh, for the uh, coupons that we are going to create you can sh uh, set the option as yes to uh, show the verification badge on the uh, deal configurations you can show the start and uh, expiry date of the coupons you can show the total waves that have been made on the same you can enable the upwards downwards and enable comment and uh, lastly you can also enable the social chair options apart from that uh, you can also make a no uh, for the enable or uh, no for any other options that you can see here that are visible on the coupon listing page itself and uh, lastly we have the feedback and if i tap here in the feedback here we can see the author the type the product uh, or the uh, coupon uh, name the coupon type like deal product offer product the sku for the same and from here you can see the feedback as well uh, uh, for the same and the, uh, the admin can check any of the uh, uh, feedbacks for the uh, coupons there apart from that the admin can also uh, uh, trash any of the uh, feedbacks that have been mailed by choosing them and tapping on the dash and then tapping here on the apply button and apart from that the admin can also search by author or the product name uh, so that he can get the feedbacks for that particular author or the product name so uh, uh, apart from that the admin can also tap here on the view uh, link under the author uh, to check the feedback of the customer so here we have the comment id the author was webcool user was the admin his email address ip address the product for uh, or the coupon uh, product that was there the name of that product the coupon type that was there and the comment from the uh, author there that was a great deal so uh, that was much about the uh, coupon listing uh, or the discount coupon listing uh, plugin for the wordpress itself and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow as well if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can read or you can read uh, or you can basically uh, create a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com you can also contact us through www.webpool.com forward slash contact and lastly if you find this particular video please do give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead